Hi everyone and welcome to today's card. So I'm starting off with another stamped image from CC Designs called Masterpiece. And I decided to do some watercoloring this time, so I pulled out my watercolors. I'm using some stays on jet black ink and I'm stamping this image onto some watercolor paper. I'm just hitting it with my heat gun to make sure my ink is dry. Now this is my first attempt at watercoloring, so um yeah, I mean I really like how it ended how it turned out, but again, like I said, this is my actual first time at watercoloring. So what I do is I wet the area that I plan on coloring first, which is some plain water, and then I go in and use my watercolors. Um, I don't know if this is the right way or the wrong way, but it's the way that I'm starting out doing this. I might change it over time if I continue to watercolor. But um, yeah, so this is just the way that I do it. What I'm going to go ahead and do here is just go ahead and put some music on to finish out me coloring this little image and let me see what else I want to say um, yeah the watercolors was from Michaels it was that artist loft set for like five dollars I think that's what I paid for it's something like that really cheap but that's what I'm using for this so um, yeah just go ahead and enjoy the music
Okay, now that I have the watercoloring down, I'm just hitting it with my heat gun to dry it up. Um, I go from the back of it to help with the warping of it. So I'm deciding with this card also again to do another five and a half by five and a half square card. I really like the size of that card, um, so that's sort of been my go-to card here lately. So what I'm just doing is trimming down my pattern paper, and again this pattern paper is from Doodlebug, and it's called Hello Spring. And I've really liked this collection, so I've been using that a lot as well. And the lavender color paper is from Recollections. It's in their pastel cardstock pattern paper pack. So um, pretty much all you see me doing here is just deciding on the orientation of the card and how I want everything to lay out. And I decided that I wanted to cut her out in a circle this time. And again, I don't have any spellbinder circles, so I just find something on my craft table that is a circle, and I cut out that way. So I'm adhering my um, colored image onto the matting paper that I'm using, which again is the lavender color. And once I got that down, I'm just going to put that down on the card where I want it. And I'm using the stamp set again from uh, Amy R. Stamps, and it's called Extra Special Sentiments. That's sort of been my go-to sentiments for my Easter cards this year. I've been using um, the Amy R. Stamp sets and the Doodlebug Hello Spring 6x6 pattern paper a lot this year for my Easter cards. So I really like the way, um, I really like the patterns and I like the sentiments. So that's what I've been using. So you just see me here trimming everything out. And again, I'm adding everything onto that recollections paper because I've really been liking the look of that lately as well so I'm just adhering um, my pattern paper to my card front here and again it's only an eighth of an inch border around the card so I really have to be really careful to make sure it lines up evenly because it's such a small border so I'm adhering everything down and once I get the sentiment down, I feel that the card needs something else. So I pulled out my Martha Stewart punch, butterfly punch, and I used a, another piece of the pattern paper from the collection and punched out five butterflies and just deciding on how I want them to appear on a card. And I'm gluing those down with some glue dots. Very, very simple. And this card was very easy to put together. So then for the inside, so I'm pretty much done with the front of the card now. So for the inside of the card, I'm just using the scraps that I had left over from the front of the card. And I am going to put the jelly bean pattern paper on top of like the graph pattern paper. And I'm just going to put a strip at the bottom of the card and a strip at the top of the card and pretty much call that done. Um, at least for the pattern paper. Because I'm going to stamp out another stamp set here in a minute soon as I get these little strips of here and this one says let me see happy Easter happy spring happy happy everything and then I decided that I wanted to put some butterflies from the front of the card to coincide with the inside of the card so I used five more butterflies and just lined those up on the inside and again just glued those down with some glue dots and that was the card. Very, very simple. Nothing to it. Um, this was my first attempt at watercoloring. So I'm really happy with the way everything turned out. I'm going to include some some photos of the card after this video, as you can see here. If you want to see some still photos, go check my blog out. I will include a link in the description below. Alright, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment and subscribe and go check my blog out. Bye, everybody.